Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones. Back with a new video. Um, I just recently bought, bought a new piece of equipment to add to my preps. With all with everything that's been going on, um, you know, I figured I might as well shop around with some body armor. Uh, I don't think I'm going to need it in the short run, but in the long run, it may be necessary. You know, things are uh, things are supposed to be going south economically, and so I figured with the time and money I have now, I might as well go ahead and make the investment and buy some uh, buy some body armor. This is a tag tactical assault gear banshee plate carrier. It has body webbing in the front for you know for magazine pouches or dump pouches or whatever. It has molly uh, webbing on the cummerbund right here. It has molly webbing on the back for hydration hydration packs, which I may get in the future. Um, so far I like this you know it's very comfortable. Um, they're, these are very adjustable. I know, I know different companies make similar models to this. Um, but Tactical Assault Gear made uh, this. I got they made this one, and it's very comfortable. Um, holds on to my body pretty well. It's not in the way. I can actually bend down. Ah, I can move around, and it doesn't get it doesn't restrict movement. Um, it doesn't restrict movement too much, where you know I couldn't move you know freely. There's still some moves I couldn't do, like certain stretches I couldn't you know bend too much to my sides, but we bend back and forth pretty well. Uh, you see, I have my, uh, you know, for you know, for humor, I have my um, mil-spec monkey patches, you know, porking infidel, of course, and war pig. Buddy of mine says call it razor, you know, more like a razorback, but, you know, I think you may be right. I guess I'm, I guess I'm a tactical razorback. <laughs> um, but, uh, this, uh, Velcro is very strong. Ah. But there's like a there's a there's a pouch right here. You can put pens, IDs, uh, extra ammunition, things like that. But uh, it is very comfortable. A lot of adjustments. There are a lot of adjustments that can be made to fit uh, to fit whatever body type you are. I'm a very slim guy, so I had to make, I had to see if I can get this as close together as possible in terms of keep it, you know, adjusted, well adjusted to my body. And I was able to do so. Um, so you see the, see the cummerbund that it has. Just pull this tab and lift this up. And you see there's a cummerbund that comes out. And it's even some model webbing on the inside. I'm going to take this off for a second to show you another purchase that I made to go to make an addition with this. Also it has these, these snaps they seem to be pretty well made. Now, with uh, I'm, not, I'm not really worried about uh, encountering anyone, you know, encountering anyone that may want to use force against me in, in the, in the where I live. But you know, I rather you know, I rather have something um, that may come in handy than not have it, and something happen, and you know, it could have been, you know, it could have, things could have turned out better by just taking a little precaution. I went ahead and bought AR500 uh, steel plate. This uh, this is a now if you, if you shopped with them before, you notice they've been back. A lot of things have been back ordered, and they made an announcement that if your if your um if your order was pending um, before March 5th, you get the new coating for free, and that's what I did. I ordered mine back in February, and they they sent my um, they sent my plate in with the new uh, the new spall resistant coating, which gives it more rough surface. It's not smooth, but which is also kind of good because now it doesn't, it'll stay in place. It doesn't, it doesn't move around as if it just had a you know, regular enamel finish. But you know, these were these are I think these are uh, these are pretty good. Uh, I haven't gone up test yet. Hopefully, I'll be able to do so later on. But from where I, from what I've seen from plenty of videos, um, these are able to uh, withstand 5.56 NATO rounds that have the, the green tips. Even stand, it can even stand up to 7.62 by 51 uh, NATO, which is 308 Winchester. Uh, these weigh seven and a half pounds. Um, with, without the coating, you know, without the coating, it'd be seven and a half pounds. With the coating, I think I said it was uh, maybe three fourths of a pound more. But you know, it's it's not uh, it's not uncomfortable. I worn this thing actually for about three or four hours, and walking around with this, sitting down, getting up. 
It's actually it didn't, it didn't cause it really didn't cause any fatigue. Um, it was actually pretty. It was actually you know relatively comfortable. You put this back in. This plate carrier has these pouches where you insert the plates. So you just take the plate. Also, these plates come with a come with a, a cut, user cut. So if you you know you were shoulder your rifle or shotgun. Um, they have this cut down the side, so, it's, so that it gives you it gives you no shoulder clearance to properly shoulder your weapon. So you just put the plate in, the velcro back up. Now they put it back on. Snap that. Remember, this is all very this this plate carrier is great because it's it's so adjustable. Just by any body type. I'm very, like I said, you know, because of my because of my frame, I wanted to make sure that it would uh, it would adjust pretty well to where I can get you know good movement while the plate carrier moving around uh, needlessly. Got your cummerbund, and you line it up. You bring your velcro back down, and you're ready to ready to rock and roll. Uh, this pl this plate carrier cost me about uh, about one hundred and forty dollars on optics optics planet. The plate cost sixty five uh, plus shipping. The plate uh, this, the plate was about seventy seven dollars in total. Um, I know now you can buy the um, you can get the plate you know just flat or curved or now you can buy the new spalling protection. Uh, I try to I say if you if you decide to buy a plate but if you decide to go with the curved plate. First, try out get one flat plate, and try it front to back, and then from there you can make a, you can make a better judgment as to whether you want to get another flat plate or a curved plate. I wore the flat plate on the back pouch, and well, it wasn't it wasn't very comfortable. I, my my front is very flat, but my, but my back actually curves actually has more curve to it. So what I decided to do is I ordered the second plate with the curve. That way I can wear that, I can wear that on, on the back of my plate carrier. That way, you know, I can retain some comfort as well as, you know, you know, as well as have my back, have my have some protection on my six. As some people would say. Um, but I think it's a great. I think I made a great. I believe I made a great investment. Uh, like I said, I hope to never have to. You know, hope to hope not to have to wear this in, you know, in, in the situation it was designed for. But it should it arise, you know, at least I have some protection on my side. But that's my plate carrier. This is the Tactical Assault Gear Banshee um, plate carrier with AR500 armor plate. Just get them while you can. They have, you know, they're still back ordered, but they've been, they've been, they've been, they've been ordered like, they've ordered like crazy. So I figured, you know, might as well jump on it right now while the price is still good. But that's my uh, that's my best my plate carrier. I'm Edward Jones, and thank you for watching my video.